You have talked about citizen review boards to review individual cases, to treat it on an individual basis. You, you mentioned the fact that someone who's been here 25 years, serve the community, should get special consideration under this board. How many years is the threshold for you if they're here five years, but has served the community under the criteria that you set out before? Five years also a candidate? I think, first of all, that anybody who would apply to the Citizen Review Board idea came out of the selective service model that was used as draft boards in World War II. We relied on local citizens to render judgment about who ought to be deferred, who ought to be drafted, because they had local knowledge. Uh, that's the starting point. Second, I started with, with, with cases that I think are very hard to, to argue about. Somebody who's been here 25 years, somebody who has been a good local citizen, may well belong to your church, has children and grandchildren in the United States. And I'll just say flatly, I do not believe the people of the United States are going to send the police in to rip that kind of person out and ship them out of this country, particularly because those are precisely people who are going to end up in churches as sanctuaries. And I think we ought to be honest about that. I think most of the workers who are here who have no ties to us should go home immediately. I think we should make deportation dramatically easier, just as I think, frankly, we ought to make English the official language of government, and we ought to have an effective guest worker program with very severe penalties for those employers who hire people illegally. But the Pew Center, the Hispanic Center, as you know, has said that maybe 3.5 million people could come under the criteria that you laid out. I, I don't think there are 3.5 million people who've been here 25 years. But they're talking about people who've been here 15 years. Hmm? 15 years. Well, basically. I wasn't. They were. You used a number that doesn't relate to my proposal. But under the criteria that you have set out, do you have a threshold on the number of people you would consider before the review? Well, I, 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 that's why you have the citizen review panel. If a per, the person has to have been here 25 years, have genuine ties to the community, be a good citizen, and have an American family sponsoring them, and they still don't get citizenship. This is not amnesty. They get residency, and they pay a penalty in order to get residency. Okay, I'm going to turn if we could to Governor Romney because we heard Speaker Gingrich say we're not going to round people up and deport them. And I think at one point uh, you said something similar in a meeting at Bloomberg that that we're not going to be tracking everybody down and moving them out. And yet, to our colleague David Muir, I want to try to clarify something you said. You seem to indicate that people should go back home to their country. And in some cases, it may mean as much as five years if they get at the back of the line or more. Are you saying how many people should be sent back home to their country? Should they be tracked down to establish who they are sent back home to their country? I, I believe that any time that we start talking about a, a form of amnesty, whether it's technically amnesty or not, when we start talking about how people have been able to come here and stay illegally for some period of time, that they're going to be able to stay here permanently and become a permanent resident of the United States with, uh, with rights to our education system, our health care system, and so forth, we will then create another magnet that draws people into our country illegally. So the right course for us is to once again talk about what you described secure the border. Once we do that, we can start talking about the 11 million or whatever number that might be that are in the country illegally. My own view is those 11, 11 million people should register the fact that they're here in the country. They should be given some transition period of time to allow them to uh, settle their affairs and then return home and get in, the, in line at the back of the line with everybody else that wants to come here. Don't forget, when we talk about, about the difficulty of people going home, there are millions of people who, many of whom have relatives here in this country who are in line, who want to come here. I want to bring people into this country who have skill, experience, family here, who want to draw them in. I do not want to do something. I do not want to do something which encourages another wave of illegal immigration. So from my view, viewpoint, the key, the key measure is this. No favoritism for permanent residency or citizenship for those that have come here illegally. So